hope is on the way mm. from UC Davis and a local elementary school. New tonight, CBS 13's Rachel Wolf shows us two schools with two different life saving plans. The pouch material is in the back. Each of you is going to grab a bundle, and then we'll gather over here at the sewing machines, and I'll show you what to do. Erin Brady is a home economics teacher at Springview Middle School in Rockland. I put out an all call, and we got about 50 kids here today. She's part of an online crafting group that's answering a call to help animals rescued during the Australian wildfires. To me, the best thing we can do is teach them to be good humans, and this is part of that, reaching out and helping Others. Students are sewing pouches for kangaroos, wallabies, and bats. Um, this is a extra small kangaroo pouch. It has soft lining on the inside, folded over with regular fabric on the outside. They're also crocheting nests. You want a, a variety for the different species of birds and stuff like that. So there's a bigger one and a smaller one, and there's like this little one that somebody else made. This comes as UC Davis veterinarian Jamie Payton preps for a trip down under. She's teaming up with other vets to help animals burned in the wildfires, taking technology she pioneered and used during the campfire that uses skin from farm tilapia to treat wounds. So when you lose an area of skin, it's very sensitive, um, it's painful, and it's exposed to bacteria and the rest of the environment. You lose fluid. Collagen in the fish skin is a healing protein that reduces the need for frequent and often painful bandage changes. Peyton used it on cats and dogs here and hopes it will help heal animals burned there. So there you go, a couple of examples of how people are helping. Now, for more information on how you can help animal and human victims, of course, of the Australia bushfires, head to our website, cbs13.com.